Stop. DIY everything. Everything. You can do anything. Hey guys, so I'm feeling a little spontaneous today. You guessed it, I'm going to be giving myself bangs. Hey, I definitely need a change with my hair. I really haven't done anything in, um, well, I haven't even had a haircut in like six, seven months. I just need a change, just something fun, something to freshen things up a bit. Um, and so I decided I'm going to try, mm, try it bangs. I've had them before in the past and I always love them but they always end up being a little too high maintenance for me. So I grow them out, wait a couple years, and then get the urge. I'm gonna be going for a very cute, short pixie type bang, a little bit jagged on the ends, um, and about mid forehead. So without further ado, let's bang it out. So the first thing I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna brush this through and straighten it just so I have a better idea of what I'm working with. I'm not gonna be dampening my hair either. I like to cut it dry so I know exactly what's happening. You know, when you cut it wet, then it like shrivels up and it gets shorter. I don't fuck around with all that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and straighten this up real quick. Be right back. Et voila, hair is straightened. My hair looks very effing shiny and I'm into it. Ooh. Okay, so you really need to decide how thick you want your bangs. I want mine quite thick. Um, I like them short and thick and yeah, that's what I want. So however much hair that you pull down is the thicker they're gonna be. Um, so if you just take, you know, the front little bit, then you're gonna have like really then see-through bangs like this, but I want like thicker, chunkier bangs. So, um, I'm going to take my brush. I don't even have a comb. I realized that after I already decided I wanted to do this, but I'll show you, you can get it done with just a brush. And how I do is I literally just keep pulling my hair forward until I feel like it's right until I get the desired thickness. And go over as far as you prefer. I have lots of baby hairs the further over that I get. So what I'm pulling from is mostly the front area. I don't go like, you know, some people will really pull all of this forward too and start cutting from that. I don't just because this area for me is like my baby hairs, see? Um, so that just doesn't make sense. And a good way to see if you are even is to Get your hair pulled back. That way you can see this line better. And you see how it's like kind of jagged right here, but even over here. So we want these to match because that's gonna give us um, an even thickness throughout. You don't want one side of your bangs to be thicker than the other. This would be easier with a comb, this part right here. But like I said, make it work that's what a diy is all about making it work with what you've got and they're gonna be fucking fabulous just be optimistic a little ballsy and you'll be fine i'm gonna go ahead and tie the rest of my hair back and obviously it's best to start with less you can always come back and make them thicker but if you cut them too thick to begin with then you can't do anything you just gotta wait for them to grow out so Less is more. So I'm gonna start with this. So with your index finger and your middle finger, you wanna hold your bangs right here. Take your hair, twist it, grab on with your other two fingers. And then I like to do that twice. So there we go. And this is the part where you wanna decide how long you want them. I want mine mid forehead. So I'm gonna start a little lower. You want to start longer, you can always go shorter. So we're gonna start with them a little longer. So I want them mid forehead. So I'm gonna start right about here. And we're just gonna take our scissors and cut straight across. that's it that's the look <laughs> okay don't be scared guys I know you're probably scared right now I am too but we're gonna get through this have you guys watched the show girls on HBO with Lena Dunham okay there's an episode where she cuts her own hair and 
she gives herself bangs and this is not dissimilar to how hers turned out initially. It's not that bad. I love that scene, I love that show, I highly recommend. But next, I'm going to take my bangs again, just because I can see that there are a few scragglers just right off the top. Um, you can see right there and on the end. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go in and get those right now and just even it out. And we're gonna go back in and add our fringe and definition and make it look messier, so don't worry. And like I said, right, right there on the end. Okay, much better. <laughs> okay, so to make this more manageable, I'm gonna run the straightener over it again and um, hope that it lays down a little bit because right now it's sticking straight out. Curl it under. Okay, that definitely helped. Okay, good. Oh, thank God, guys. That was scary for a second. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to be able to put this video out. <laughs> I do want these a little bit shorter. And so I'm just going to go through and take a little bit off the end. I'm sure hairstylists out there are cringing. But this is the way I get it done. And it's going to look cute in the end, I promise. And if it doesn't, then it's me who has to live with it, not you, so. Okay, so I just want them a little bit shorter, so I'm going to take my fingers down and just, so I have the ends and um, yeah, just work my way across. I'm gonna hold this cowlick down. But um, that looks good. I think I want them a little shorter though. So I'm gonna go back in. And this is where you really just play around with it. That's what he said. Okay guys, I'm happy with this length. It is pretty much mid forehead and you can see that the sides go out further than the midsection and the reason for that is whenever we twisted it, the way we cut it, um, that allows the sides to stay a little longer. Um, if you do want yours very blunt, just obviously you would just take your hair and just cut it straight across. But we twisted it and that, that just makes the sides a little longer. I like that look better. Okay, so now that we've got the desired length, I'm just going to go in and add a few snippets across. That's going to give it just a little more definition and not make it so blunt. And the way that I do that is I literally, I don't even hold them. I want, I want to see exactly how they're going to lay. So, and then I just start at the edge and work my way in. And just snip up. Just have some fun with it. And obviously from now on, since I have these bangs, I will be brushing my bangs down once I get out of the shower so I won't have that weird mid part throwing this look off. But you guys can see, I mean, that's like all I'm looking for. Like I like it, it's not perfect. It's um, longer on the ends, a little bit jagged, a little bit, you know, choppy um i really like it that's what i was looking for now i'm just going to take the tiniest little bit of some texturizing cream to work through so that you can get a better idea of how these will look you see i like pretty much look like a different person you know what i mean like um they just are so fun like they make ponytails cute with no effort like look at that like it's a look it's a vibe just like my hairy armpits if you can see i don't think you really can but they're pretty hairy it's winter parted right down the middle it's just very like edgy rocker chick cool girl without trying too hard you know half up and down 
see what I mean? Like they're crooked and they're not perfect, but that that's what I look for in bangs. Yeah, it's just very versatile. You can really have a lot of fun with it. And like I said, I just needed to change and now I feel like a new woman. Okay. <laughs> Um, anyways guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then give it a like and subscribe and if you try this out then I won't be held responsible for how yours turns out um, but <laughs> just play around with it guys. It's just hair. It's really not that serious and if you fuck it up too bad you can just bobby pin it back, you know. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.